There we go. Oh. Ooh, that looks no. <laughs> Give me one second. Fiddling with all the things so I can keep seeing your chat. Ooh, ooh. That's better. But I can still see the chat as well as respond to anyone that may come in here and decide to discuss with us. Anyway. <laughs> Thank you all for watching, if you're new here. I'll probably have, like, uh, chapters below after the stream ends. But... Supposedly my stream rate is lower than recommended... Ah, let's see if I can speed that up. I don't know if I can, but... So, today we're going to be looking at a game in Roblox. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Bit weird, but... We're going to try our best. Let's see, video output... It wants us up at four, five thousand. Come on. There we go. There we are. Hope that's better. Gonna have to wait and see if it uh, picks up now. But rate is picking up speed. Cool. Yeah, I'm in Roblox. Weird to say, I don't usually play Roblox. But today I'm going to be playing a game called Steam and Rails. The creator of this is a pretty famous, uh, at least in that community, Derail Valley modder. So when they decided to make their own game, well, kind of ended up being the talk of the town right now. And I figured, you know what? I don't usually give my reaction to games when I first play them. I did that with an old YouTube channel, but I haven't really done that here. And with Gaming in the Grove and having Do Games Get Trains, you know, initial impressions. Let's see if we can do something a bit different. Mine got! <laughs> Supposedly there's a bunch of influence here from uh, Railroads Online, but it's more of a European style. And in it did Roblox. Ooh. That's also a Banjo Kazooie. Okay. So they're going to teach us how to use their tools to build track and stuff. Huh. <laughs> So we can control the gradient of track and percentage, which is like the grade, so up and down, uh, curve, ooh, so you can like put a certain radius of the curve if you don't want it to go higher than something. That's not bad. 
understandably. This is something that I preach a lot in my Do Games Get Trains. Gentle hills, wide turns, that's the best way to get fast trains and decent train operation. Yep. So we're going to go ahead and do this quickly. And there we are. It's a bit more blocky than I would hope, but also this is Roblox we're talking about, so you know. It's not going to be the most fantastic of track, but if, as long as it works like it's supposed to, I can see that. I'm going to turn off build menu. Also, you may notice over here it shows that I actually spent money to build that. That's something I got a bit of a preview for. It actually costs. Now, how, how does... Oh! Ooh, okay. Interesting. Oh! Let's shovel coal in, build some pressure. Five or six bars should do. So I think when we're talking about bars... Kesseldreck, this section here, I think, is what we're trying to build up. Look at him shovel a little bit of coal in. That's that's cool. It's depleting the coal too, so you can watch the coal like go down as you do that. Alright. Whoop! here to the depot. Not bad. It's not exact, but it's pretty good. Looks like that has a flanged wheel there in the middle. Yeah, that's a flanged wheel. But not bad. Especially considering this is Roblox. That is loud though, my goodness. I just realized the game audio wasn't fully going. There we are. Wow. Now... How do I get this off? get off. <laughs> I don't think I was supposed to do that yet. I think I was supposed to wait a little bit longer. We're gonna move back now a little bit. It's like rounds on line, you can have it too much. Okay. Oh! It just unloads naturally when you get here. charge up the steam.
Oh. Yeah. You just come by and you click them. Okay. The only reason I got that last one was because I was so close. Got it, got it. Oh no. Okay. Cool. I think that's the end of the tutorial. And now you just walk into the locomotive. But how... How do I get out? Okay. That's cool. Hmm. Well, how do I... Give me a second, I'm gonna go briefly to the technical difficulties while I figure out what uh, to do about this. technical difficulty page looks a little weird so I'm gonna put it in there but I don't know what happened to that either That isn't helping. Ah, there we are. Found the help button. Let's see. Zoom in and out. Ah, okay, got it. So you're just supposed to jump. It looks like when you jump, it pulls you out of the cab. Okay, interesting. <laughs> interesting. So there's multiplayer settings, there's a building menu, there's a shop where you can buy stuff, and then there's the map. Looks like this is the starting tutorial map, which has a bit of a line already. Interesting. So they kind of give you something to start out with when you first start up the game for the first time. But regrettably, I think I broke it. <laughs> Because the tutorial has absolutely stopped. Which I don't know if it's good or bad. So. Let's just go ahead and try and keep building. Let's see what we can do. Can I actually. Nope. Let's see. Can I. Oops. Oh, 
Nope, that's not what I wanted. Can I actually delete the track here and we build this? So we're going to try and delete this. Cool. Now I'm going to build a switch here. Let's do a right one. Okay. Let's see, what else do we have here? A little turntable. A roundhouse building. Oh my! Roundhouse walls. So we've got some ability to like build roundhouses and stuff. Some diamonds. Ooh! Nice, that's some terraforming too. These are very um, European style switches, but nice! Look at that gap work. That's some gap work there. Work effectively. Much nicer curves here. It's not a square. If we could get these type of curves for this, that would be nice, especially considering that's a little uh, a little yank. <laughs> just just a little bit of jank there. What else do we have? Buildings. Oh, that's a wood shed. A storage shed. A storage bunker. And a cooling tower. Ooh. Oh, nice. And they got a little, like, parallel track guide here for when you're designing your build when you want to be able to parallel track. If I could talk, that'd be great. This takes a bit of a second to, like, do stuff. I don't really see much need to cut trees, but I do have a cut tree option as well as a re-rail mode, which is good. was not what I expected. Interesting. Let's try that again. Supposedly if I hold this down... Oh... Interesting. That's interesting. Track's still a little bit wonky, but it's better. So, essentially, that just means that this is a very sharp curve. Okay. So, for a, like, small indie game, this isn't half bad. This is pretty interesting. Can I put this away? Yeah, I can. And how big is this map? Got a farm down here. Oh, there we are. The edge of the map. That's big. That's a pretty big map. Like, I'm trying to fly around to the edges, and this is big. Now, I do have a few issues so far with the map. Um, no rivers or streams. Like... I'd like it if there's some flowing water, but interesting. Oh, the game did not like that a little bit. All right, I'm gonna quickly see about changing some things. Can I bring him a new 
your text one. There we are. I made a new technical difficulties page. I'm gonna go ahead and move to that and we're gonna try changing because I think I heard that there's a new map. I'm gonna see about opening that up and seeing what that's like. Yep, it looks like we did break, uh, <laughs> did end up breaking the tutorial. Whoops. So, it looks like we're loading up our new map, which is going to be Gold Rush. Looks like Gold Rush was a recently added map. So, should be in there soon. Supposedly it's a bit more of a desert map than the other one. I'm not entirely sure which one that other one was on. There were two different maps that I seen when I was back on the main menu. Uh, that world that we were specifically in was the tutorial world, which was why it was absolutely a bit broken. <laughs> Whoops. Oh. Nice. It's like the American Wild West. This is it, what you would see more if you were playing Railroads Online. Except for that button in the middle. What would this look like? Ooh. A nice little locomotive. It jumped a bit. <laughs> Have a, we do have a small in-cab view here, but to be able to actually like do stuff with my mouse, I have to zoom out, which is sad, but understandable. Still shrill as ever. Interesting. All right. So I'm gonna steam up the locomotive and then pull it over here to the ground. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I almost did a whoopsie. May want to build some track first. There we go. I got some track there. I wanted to see if I can do some stuff with that. Oh, wait, let's try that again. No, none of that is what I wanted. Um, what? Okay. 
Um, that was, I made up. Okay, I wonder, is there a way to fix that? Yep, you just use the Railroad Online's turn button then. Uh, okay. Similar similar nodes and stuff. There we go. Let me go ahead and get out of that build mode. And yes, this is my personal like Roblox character. I don't really play this much. Uh, Roblox is not a thing for me. I've been looking at it for a few other games that people have been recommending and asking for, but... If this is anything like a real locomotive, like is what implied to me. Yeah, that's getting real thick. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna try doing a little bit slowly, backing up onto that straight stretch there. Oh right, I forgot why I was doing this to begin with. I was trying to replace that little line there. Because what I was going to do is I was going to turn on the grade. Turn on grade and curve. And forcing them to both be zero, which, yep, makes a very straight bit of track. Interesting. Didn't expect that to work. And yeah, it's it's absolutely getting some steam now. All right. Whew. That uh, that was went wrong. You can see how it went from being a dark black to being a white though. Supposedly, it should be very easy. One of these little hatchets is supposed to be up while the other one's down. Which is a sentence, now I think about I already <laughs> derailed a car. Guys, that is record time from starting up the level to derailment. I swear. Also, I may have oversteamed it. Because <laughs> it is not happening right now. That did not actually rerail it. That just made it worse. Let's try this again. That also made it worse. Can I click anywhere to make this better? No. No, I can I can click anywhere to make it worse. 
Aha! That'll work. Start seeing how far three percent will get me. Not bad. We'll do two percent for right now. entirely wrong. Okay, let's see. How does 230 do? Is 230 a very... 230 is much smoother. Much smoother. Look at that. Okay. I'm gonna try bringing the train over here. We'll see how that goes. I, this is <laughs> so far away. But look at how sharp that curve is. I might, I might try and see if I can smooth it out some. Remove some of the track back here and see if I can make it into like a small S curve or something. I don't know. See about making a series about this, maybe. Put up alongside my Rose Online videos. This is such a much better curve than that original one. Look, they even little characters like cleaning out looking back. Alright. 
see how we do when we're going back uphill. getting grayer a bit. I wonder, can you affect the map in this mode? No, but you can see your little train on it, which is kind of adorable. This is your filling area. This is where you can fill up your train's coal and everything. From the top here. No water towers from the looks of it. But, interesting. This is a neat little game. I'm excited to continue playing more of it. Um, I know on this map, they've changed a few things. So on other maps where you have like to go get lumber, I think this one has a... There it is. Cactus camp. I don't know what other type of things it has. It's a much more uh, deserty map, so. What is that? I think this is at the slaughterhouse. Another cactus camp. So you've got a lot of different, like, areas that are like, oh, a goldsmith. So I take it you're going to be moving gold and stuff like that. Interesting. Alright. Well, I'm going to go ahead and save this. I'm going to jump into the other map, and we'll see what it's like over in the other map. So, give me one second, guys. That'll be it for today. Okay, we're loading up the map Scarlet Heights. We'll see if this is the tutorial map or not. This will essentially tell us what that tutorial map was. And that should be our entire experience for today. You'll be able to see this on my archives, my stream archives. And I'll probably also do a video on this later, in some more in depth. But overall, for initial impressions, this has been really fun. Whoops. Bouncing back and forth between the two. But. Let's see, where are we? I'm surrendering the chunks in those areas is what I could tell. Ooh. I don't think this is what the tutorial map was on. That must be Coal Valley, because this looks very rocky. Very tight area here, look at that. You're in a valley. Oh yeah, no, this, this is... 
bauxite mine. You're you're going to like some interesting locations. It's a much smaller map it looks like, but also like you're doing some mountain railroading here. There's the forestry. There's the lumber mill. Still no rivers. There's no rivers in any of these maps. Interesting maps overall, but none of them have like rivers or anything. I wonder, can I look at the shop along here? Oh wow, there's like ton. Oh nice, there's like different locomotives. Looks like that one requires you to buy the tender separate. Yeah, these locomotives require you to buy a tender. Some cute little locomotives. I would like to actually see them like fully, you know, without everything, but uh, they're pretty expensive and I don't want to spend all my money on locomotives out of the gate. But interesting. Alright. Well, this has been uh, Steam and Steel, I believe is what it's called. It's on Roblox, Roblox for 200? It's five hundred. Uh, sorry, it's five dollars for four hundred. So two hundred, like, it's less than five bucks. It's like two fifty or so. That's not bad for a cute little railroads online light game. Considering that game itself is way more expensive, and there's way more here that I haven't even got into. Like, there's an entire um, industrial chain just like on railroads online. If you have to feed different things, different items to get new items and. Of course, you have this lovely area here that takes everything. It just there's so much, but yeah. Thank you all for joining me on this stream. It's been kind of fun to kind of just react to a new game, kind of reacting to something with y'all. Hope y'all enjoyed this as well. But till next time, this is Silver signing out for Gaming in the Grove. Thanks for watching, y'all.